I know with this next bit, we are walking straight into a crap storm. Uh, Umbrellas are advised. Yes, yes, so please just hear me out because we're talking about Sports Illustrated and fat chicks. We're about to sail into a shit typhoon, Randy, so we better haul in the jib before it gets covered with shit. Okay, so first, before you get all mad about fat shaming, there'll be plenty of that down the line. That's not the main point here. Sports Illustrated had three covers. Ronda Rousey, some moderately cute blonde, I don't know her name, and then um, then your big girl, Ashley Graham. Is that it? I think so. Yeah, Ashley, Ashley, Ashley Graham. Graham. Okay, now before we get into all of this, this is not about uh, hating fat people, okay? This is a tr- truth here. Okay, this is not about big beauty. Sports Illustrated is simply using this as a new marketing gimmick to make fat girls feel good about themselves. He's about to enter the shit tornado to Oz. This has nothing to do with reflecting normal bodies, okay? Look at Ashley Graham. Any of you out there look like that? Right, okay, she's a size 16. She says she's 5'9", size 16. Uh, Which, you know, she's probably pushing it. She's probably more like... Five seven five eight size eighteen, which okay first is is not normal. That is overweight. Uh, that is significantly. She's not like Tess Holiday. She doesn't have an orbit, but she's relatively large. Um, and by the way, when we include average. To give you an example, I have a great family doctor. Before we get into this, okay, average is a number that's just thrown about. Oh, so average is size fourteen. That includes the entire population, including the morbidly obese people who are unhealthy and have diabetes and health conditions. For example, when I was going through some tests with my doctor, I said, "Well, what's the normal range?" We were testing my thyroid. It turns out I've talked about this. I've had an issue with it. He goes, "Well, it depends. Here's the range that was acceptable by doctors for a long time, but that also includes people in the general population with hypothyroidism." And diabetes. He goes, you remove those people and include only the healthy population, that range diminishes greatly. So let's be clear about that when we're talking about average. Sometimes it's a lot better to watch a shit tree grow than to try to shake the shit fruit out of it. Real quick, want to tell you about our sponsorship this week, audible.com. Go to audible.com slash Crowder and you can try it for free. You can actually listen to any audio books, which is actually great for us when we're doing show prep. And we're reading news. We don't have time to read a book, but we can actually listen to a book while we're reading news. It's, it's been great for us, particularly if you're interested in a topic and you really want to learn and you have your headphones on. Uh, I recommend a few books. I actually recommend Big Love, a uh, sex and relationship guide for people of size and those who love them. And by that, I mean I actually recommend Brad Thor's recent short story, The Athens Solution. Hi, it's Brad Thor. I hope yeah, that's the one. The other one was, you know, I mean, pick it if you want. But the Brad Thor book, I highly recommend. He's a friend of the show. It's a short audio book. It's only about an hour, and it's a great story. Brad Thor's a good guy. Audible.com slash Crowder. Please support the show. Go there and try it for free. What do you have to lose? Well, I'll tell you what you have to lose if you don't go there. Some IQ points, because you will get stupider for not reading or listening to people read. Now, this woman is not showcasing her body for what it is. This is my issue with it. It's just another marketing gimmick to sell makeup, beauty products, fitness products, as we'll get to with this Graham on her Instagram uh, uh, account. She is, the message here is be proud of your big is beautiful. So long as you are, as long as you have a skinny face, airbrushed, Photoshop, perfect teeth, skin, and hair, then you can be beautiful. Well, if we're going to talk about representing all body types, why all of a sudden is it Tess Holiday and this girl and not, hey, you know what, here's actually a healthy uh, young blonde girl with ruddy skin and uh, small boobs. What, what, about, what about the girl with, uh, with psoriasis who's perfectly healthy? What about the girl with acne and the hook nose? What are, you, what are your thoughts on the, uh, the blue vein and the old boob? The blue vein and the boob? Well, it's photoshopped out. Oh. It's photoshopped out. Okay, that out. makes more sense now because I, I, I would assume a woman of her size would have it. So the message here is it's okay to be plus size, diabetic size even, so long as everything else is perfect. By the way, buy this stuff. You know what a shit barometer is, Bob? Who? Huh? Measures the shit pressure in the air. You can feel it. Listen, Bob, hear that? The sounds of the whispering winds of shit. Okay, and I've said this before. I know I'll, I'll get guff. I think Adele is, is cute. I think Adele is sexy, right? And uh, I know people say, well, without makeup, uh, okay. So why am I being so harsh here? Listen, it's because these plus size models are thrusting their body in front of men and demanding that you see it as beautiful. And if you don't, you are to be reprimanded. That's the problem. If a plus size woman says, hey, I'm a great singer, right? 
And I go, oh, okay, I listen to them sing. The plus, the fatness has nothing to do with it. And I go, yeah, you know what, you're a great singer. If a plus size woman, an extra plus plus size woman comes to me and says, I'm beautiful and I have a great body. Okay, I'm going to look at your body and say, no. Disagree. <laughs> a moment for rebuttal. <laughs> I object, your honor. It wins her a comment. The real problem here is these plus size models are charlatans. Okay, can you bring up, case in point, this uh, this Graham girl, her her uh, her Instagram account of her doing this exercise, right? Oh, oh, goodness. So what is the point here? They go, health comes in all shapes and sizes. Look, I'm exercising really hard, and I'm still this size. No, no, you're not. As a matter of fact, this this exercise, we should have it up on screen. Um, her trainer should be given an award for con men, uh, con man of the year because this movement is a marvel. What she is doing here, I'm doing a complex. That's a bunch of movements to burn calories. No, there's a reason you're big, probably because this is how you train. She's taking a single leg lunge, okay? A single leg lunge. Now, everyone watching, pause this video right now. Just go do a lunge. Put your foot up on a chair, do a single leg lunge, okay? It's really easy. Barring someone who has a disability, anyone can do it. Now, it's so easy that the only real time people do it in the gym is when they add weight to them. Typically a barbell, dumbbells, ideally barbell, because you need a lot of weight to really make that difficult. Again, pause this, go do a lunge. It's really easy, right? So, what this woman is doing is taking a movement, a gravity-based movement, the lunge, requires gravity as resistance, and combining it with a cable crossover, an anti-gravity movement, a movement that has weight coming from a pulley system in the ceiling. So she has taken a gravity movement and an anti-gravity movement to fool herself as she does all kinds of physical motion while, well, never ever encountering any resistance whatsoever. What she is doing here is more akin to the the, the weightless space, uh, the weightless machine at, at space camp. Did you ever go to space camp? No, no. Well, I'm okay, so I was jealous did. of the kids who did. Thanks for, that, thanks for bringing that up, though, Stephen. Here's the little Appreciate known that. fact about space camp. Comes with a lot of ass kickings. So... Well, I got those anyway, so I would have well, rather done it in a weightless space They suit. put you in this machine that's like, you know, you basically move and the leverage causes that uh -huh. momentum to go somewhere else. So, you know, if I push here, it actually resists against it. That's the whole thing. She's ba this, her movement is more akin to the anti-gravity machine at space camp than it is to any kind of actual exercise. You idiots have loaded up a hair trigger, double barrel shit machine gun, and the barrel's pointed straight at your own heads. It's a complex. No, it's a con job. That pulley is literally pulling her out of the lunge. So when you just did your, your single weight lunge there, even without any, and how easy it was, hers is easier than that. It's like when you were a kid in high school and you went to the pull down machine, you put on all this weight and you had your friends hold you down, you go, okay, let me go, and you let them slingshot you up. She's doing that. Now- Or like when your parents neglect you in the doorway with one of those, uh, as a toddler, with one of those little yes. bouncy seats. Yes. Those are great. They, they, those are great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exercise. And they rescue a dog. The kids will get along and it mauls your face and they have to surgically reattach it. And you're but like, you're bouncing oh, and having a great time, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, well, Roscoe, we shouldn't have rescued you. I didn't know you were a bait dog. So, <laughs> the point is, she is doing less than you will do right now when you pause this video. She is doing less than that and claiming that she's exercising really hard, but this is just how big she is. And she's going to sell the celebrity, was it, Curvy Fit Club. She's going to start selling DVDs and you'll have women out there who are overweight, who will do this useless training, never lose weight, and say, I'm fit and I'm healthy because I move a lot. No, you're not. You're lying to yourself. My problem here is, listen, if you want to be big, if you, that's fine, but just admit it. Don't find ways to trick people so you can sell things. The abyss, the shit abyss. Just as an example, guarantee you if Graham stops this BS, separates the two motions, okay? Lunge with a barbell. Now the lunge has not only body weight resistance, because, I, I mean, you may even just need body weight, but let's say add a barbell. You have lunge, body weight resistance, separate it, stop that, then go do cable crossover. Or if your trainer actually knows anything about anything, do some pull-ups. For you, it'll take a while to get to one pull-up, okay? Do some pull-downs. The point is, do an actual complex of co of compound movements that would involve major muscle groups and then do basic cardio or conditioning. It's not reinventing the wheel. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. As a matter of fact, I would put up $100,000 right now to any overweight people out there and say, I've done everything I've done, and I just, is this the way I am? Guarantee you if you do that, okay, and you can monitor it, you will lose weight. Guarantee you Graham would lose weight, but she can't do that. 
Why? Because then she's out of a job. No one wants a moderately, a pretty attractive, kind of slightly overweight model. They want the really big plus size model who's famous for being plus size, but happens to have the proportions of a skinny face, no blue vein in their boob, perfect teeth, perfect skin, so they can sell makeup does, and curve fit clubs. Does the DVD, I, I gotta ask, does the DVD come with the 20 pounds of premium makeup and the professional Photoshop artist, or is that separate? Is that one of those things like if you order now in the next five minutes, you have to you purchase might get that. It. You have to, it co comes complimentary with the Gravitron weightless machine. Well, that was brilliant marketing right there. That was that's good. She would have she would have more resistance squatting in a pool. This is the point. This is the slippery slope, right? Most guys would prefer a different model. She's not a bad-looking woman. That's not the point here. Sports Illustrator will brag about how they have 73 million subscribers, which, by the way, is BS for this issue. They buy up each other's magazine subscriptions. It's a little-known secret. Uh, anyone who's worked in in the publishing industry knows that. They constantly inflate their numbers. Anyway, they will say 73 million subscribers. Right. Now, if you were to act, but they, what they won't tell you is how many of these 73 million men who buy this copy if say, okay, which one is your favorite cover? We'll choose Miss Size 16. They'll never release those numbers. My problem here is not with big women. My problem is not with skinny women. My problem is not with attractive or unattractive women. My problem is with women who throw market... Uh, responses to the win, the free market to the win, thrust themselves in the spotlight and demand that you call them beautiful and say that it's hateful to say otherwise. So you have the slippery slope. You have social justice warriors now saying, well, this isn't enough. Why don't we have everyone, the woman at soccer practice? Here's the deal. Models don't need to represent an accurate intersection of the populace. They just... I don't expect to be on the cover of anything. Of course not. And we don't expect models to give us the next cure for cancer. We want you to look good half naked that's your job that's your job now if you come in half naked and a lot of people say mm -hmm, put the clothes back on you've done your job poorly you're you should you, sh you should be fired you're bad at your job it's gone one step too far we're in the eye of a shit cane here you julian ricky is a low shit sister and these fat models are liars they're just as they claim that they want to they want to help women with their body image they lie just as bad as any other model they lie about their skin they photoshop their cellulite they photoshop their hair they change their pigment to appear generically ethnic so they can claim diversity but not intimidate white people and they do this to sell you more crap it's a marketing angle and what bothers me is that fat chicks and their white knight social justice warrior boyfriends have bought it and they're trying to appease them but here's the problem if you call them out on their by the way a woman now is the same size of the average men from the 1960s you can't account for that by drinking their oval tea okay that's a significant change. Diabetes up. This is the first generation who's not expected to live as long as uh, their parents. They're, they're not expected to live as long as a generation before them. This is the first generation that's happened, and it's because of chronic diseases that are largely preventable. Heart disease, diabetes, uh, all, all those kinds of things. And listen, health comes in all shapes and sizes. There are outliers. As a general rule, no. As a general rule, that's not true. As a general rule, health comes in a pretty defined range of... Of, of shapes and sizes. So it's, a, it's the lying that bothers me. And it's the lying to sell curvy fitness tapes and fake asses on People Magazine and telling everyone that they're healthy when they're really not. And if you call them out on their lies, well, you've just opened Pandora's box because by golly, that's hate speech. You just opened Pandora's shit box, right? Hey, glad to see you. Subscribe by clicking my face or the button above that says subscribe. I know you don't have to, you can close the window, but joke's on you, there's a pipe bomb in your basement and I have the detonator. I highly recommend you subscribe and even then, you're still rolling the dice, it depends on what my mood is that day.